Baseball in Houston, and that means Paul Janish has returned home. As Janish grew up in the Houston area, he was a high school star at Cypress Creek High School and then stayed home for college. He went to Rice University, where he became a fifth-round pick of Cincinnati in 2004, and he's now in his third season with the Orioles. And I spoke with Paul before today's game and asked him what it's like coming home and playing in a major league game in his hometown. It's, it's a cool feeling. There's no doubt about it. You know, when I came up with Cincinnati, Houston was in our division back then, so we used to come in three times a year, and, and it, it was always a good time. It's, it's fun to come home and see all the people that you grew up with, especially family and friends, but uh, it does get a little hectic at times, too, because there's a lot of ticket leaving and a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of people to see and, and say hello to, but it, it's, always, it's always fun to come home. You were a star in high school and probably had your pick of colleges. Was it the, the, the remaining here in Houston, was that the draw to go to Rice? Yeah, there's no doubt. Rice is a, is, a, is a pretty big deal in and around Houston. There's a really strong network, and, and, and my parents are pretty pretty firm with the fact that once once I had the opportunity to go to Rice, I was going to have the opportunity to play baseball there. That, that was kind of the uh, the place that I was going to go. I grew up, my brother and my dad went to Texas, so I kind of grew up a Longhorn, but um, when, when that opportunity presented itself, it was pretty clear what, what we were going to do. And you were one of the players that actually helped them build that program, and before you know it, before you're out of there, you win it all, the College World Series, and you were a big part of that. Yeah, you know, I've I've been fortunate with the with the opportunity to play baseball for a long time, and even still up to this point, the uh, the, the the whole College World Series experience and, and winning that was uh, was something that's right up at the top of the list. And, and a lot of those guys still live here in Houston, and we're all still real good buddies. And and uh, th that's just something that you'll never forget. It, it was a cool experience. Now I understand you went back to school to finish up your degree. Why was that so important to you while you were still pursuing your baseball career? You know, it's just kind of one of those deals, uh, the cliche of kind of you make you make a promise to your mom kind of deal. And uh, that, that was number one. And also my, my wife graduated from Rice also. So uh, the, the, there's one thing that I didn't want to leave any, I didn't want her to have any leverage on me. So I wanted to make sure I get mine done as well. What was your major and what might you do with that when your career's over? My major is economics, and uh, I'm not 100% sure. The last couple of years I've, I've done a little uh, interning and whatnot, so I think hopefully maybe I'll get into the real estate realm if I don't, if I don't stay in, get in the game. There's, there's definitely a pretty good chance I'll stay in baseball as well, but um, we'll see how things unfold. You've had a, a, a fulfilling career, but the last couple of years has been tough coming up and down. How do you stay positive not knowing where you're going to be at any moment? You know, it's just one of those things. It really just doesn't make any sense to worry about it because there's there's just nothing you can do about it. Some of those things are out of your control. So, um, unfortunately, the last couple of years I've been the the the, uh, the benefactor of some injuries. It's kind of like right now with Flash getting banged up, I get called up. So um, it's a good position to be in with the Orioles. They they really enjoy keeping the continuity in the clubhouse. Buck is really big on that. So, unfortunately, it takes an injury the last couple of years. But at the same time, it's it's been a really good place for me. I've enjoyed Baltimore. My family's enjoyed it. So. And this year was, was fortunate and coincidental in the sense that we were coming to Houston right before I got called up. And it must be a good fit for both sides because they keep asking you back and you keep coming back. Yeah, I mean, hopefully the feeling's mutual, right? Um, you're right. They, they keep bringing me back, so I, I assume that on, on, on their side they've been, uh, they've been happy with what they've got.